so far, I just have someone's moving on to calmer waters. So something is going to be working out for somebody. Um, somebody could have been left out in the cold, out in the wilderness, um, you know, fighting some battles, and someone's moving on to calmer waters. Someone could have thought they were getting a clean slate from somebody who's moving on to calmer water. So somebody was a fool because they thought they were going to get something from a divine femur masculine. And someone's going to be caring or generous to this person. Or this could be seen as a caring and generous mother figure who's moving on to calmer waters. Um, or father figure, you know, take it how it resonates. Um, somebody could want to be caring and compassionate towards you. You could be worried about finances or thinking about money at this time, and there's going to be an ending to this. So if you've been worrying about money or finances, something is going to come to an end regarding that. Somebody has an addiction or obsession here. Somebody could be tr trying to control a situation. So somebody could be trying to get something under control with the puppeteer here, the devil card. And they brought themselves under judgment. So addiction. So someone could be addicted or obsessed with your strength and courage. That's odd. Um, or there's something really taboo considered about your strength and courage, like it's unnatural. So you can have like some sort of unnatural strength or courage. Um, and you're going to be celebrating and somebody that you may have shared a family with or had a, a home with. Um, they're in the reverse here and they're under judgment. You could be moving or traveling soon with the Ten of Wands here. Somebody is heavily burdening you and your strength and courage is unmatched when it comes to perseverance. Um, because some of the things that you have been through is... Um, some of the things that you have been through would have, you know, driven anyone else literally insane or caused in some sort of like mental breakdown. But somehow you've had the strength and courage and perseverance to get through a situation. Let's see if we can't find out what, more about what the situation is. Because there's something about your strength. Somebody could be like addicted to testing your strength is another thing I'm getting because of what you're capable of doing it's like somebody wants to keep messing with you over and over again but something is over ten of swords here you have a positive outcome and some sort of swift action is being taken so somebody could have been obsessed they could have thought this was funny like it was a game um like they enjoyed testing your limits so someone could like be a sociopath or a psychopath or something because this person likes to test you and keep pushing you to like the point of breaking down and possibly having a mental breakdown. There's a group of people here, possibly even a community, that is going to have to take some sort of swift action, uh, possibly even legal action against somebody here or a group of people. So there's a king of wands that came out sideways, so this could be somebody in a leadership position. Um, you know, someone who is caring, compassionate, and protective. Um, this could be somebody who deserves to sit in that position. If this is somebody who is in the upright here, this King of Wands, could be the leader in a community. And they're going to help someone move on to calmer waters because somebody was a karmic and they were sick. Like, this person, somebody's sick in the head, man. Like, if you were doing well for yourself, whoever you were with... Whoever this karmic person was that you had to deal with, they were obsessed with causing you harm and, like, pushing your limits, taking things from you, um, to see, like, how you would react. Um, something is moving for you, though, because you could be in your Queen of Swords energy. And there was a jealous Queen of Cups person here who was not in their life's calling, so you have a jealous feminine energy here that, as well. So if you're a feminine and you're in the upright and you're the queen of swords, you had somebody that was very jealous of you that was in their feminine energy. And you have a leader here that is going to do something about this situation. So someone is in the position to actually do something about this. This king of wands. You have a new cycle coming because this person caused you injury. 
this jealous ass queen of cups who is not in their life's calling who is jealous of what you are doing they intentionally cause some sort of harm to you um i'm gonna jump straight to my office cards for a minute So this could be a jealous female that you are in a relationship with. This could be a same-sex feminine relationship. <coughs> or this could have been a jealous female that wanted to destroy your home and your family because they're not you. Maybe they weren't a good parent or something like that. They were jealous of what you did, what you could do. Yeah, these are all in the reverse here. So you have somebody here in the reverse that could be a masculine energy, it doesn't have to be. But somebody here was watching something, possibly on the internet or the computer. And someone is sitting there like, okay, and what? So somebody found something, uh, possibly on the internet, so somebody could have posted something. Um, if they have social media, there could have been a karmic or something that came across something on social media that they could be trying to use in court. I mean, when I see this, I look at court. Like, I see this as like a court chair or something. Um, you may turn around to see somebody maybe you weren't expecting. Through concentration, I can raise and lower my cholesterol at will. So you could be concentrating or preparing for some sort of proceeding. Um, somebody could have tried to take legal action against you. That's been coming out a lot lately. Some say the only failure there is is the failure to try. That's wrong. Failure of any kind is failure. So somebody failed at something. Somebody was trying to catch you doing something inappropriate on social media. They could have... They could have went to somebody and said that you were, like, drunk all the time, high all the time, something like that. Someone could have researched you and watched something. Like, if you have a platform, um, somebody could have been investigating or looking into something... Uh, possibly about how you make your money or finances. Somebody could have maybe said that that was your job. You got paid to do something. And they may have thought you got like a lot of money from some, doing something. I don't know. Um, but they found out that something was a failure. There was nothing to find. Like somebody was trying to... I'm just getting like a set you up for something as far as your finances or your resources or like being intoxicated i mean somebody said you're like we're a really bad parent or something somebody is being very stubborn okay this karmic energy is being very stubborn excuse me get off those their show bales not play bales so something is for show someone is trying to control you and they're putting on a show to do this so someone could be trying to drag you into court or something but it's all for show it's all for aesthetics Someone is going to have an outburst, so somebody could have an outburst in court <clears throat> because they're getting exposed for something being fake. When I die, I want to be frozen, and if they have to freeze me in pieces, so be it. So something is frozen. <clears throat> somebody could be trying to keep you frozen and keeping you stuck. You may need to do a cord cutting here, uh, but someone's trying to keep you stuck, and there's going to be an altercation. The important thing to remember, Jim, is we always have what is called the element of surprise. And nothing stresses me out except having to seek the approval of my inferior. So this person maybe um, was jealous of you because you made them feel inferior, you know. Um, they have a chip on their shoulder. Uh, this person thought that they could catch you off guard and surprise you by doing something. So somebody could have been catfishing you. This could have been a feminine energy here who was catfishing you, pretending to be a man even. Uh, to do something really shady. This is sick, man. Before I do that, I want to check these cards out. I want to see if we can find out a little bit more about who's what this, who's involved in this, or what's going on here. <clears throat> So someone's in despair over a betrayal. So there's the king of wands here. This person in leadership, this masculine energy who's in a leadership role, is in despair over a betrayal. 
by a liar, um, possibly a married couple, a king and queen of swords energy. So there could be a masculine and feminine energy here. And we have a king of pentacles who could be going into the cold or coming out of the cold, but I feel like it's more of a king of pentacles, a, a business owner or something, a masculine business owner could be headed in the direction of going, being left out in the cold. Because there's somebody here who's in despair over this betrayal that happened. Like, someone is absolutely disgusted by what a married couple have done to somebody. And there could have been a King of Pentacles here that was expecting to get something um, from this, um, you know, Divine Femme energy. But something is stuck. There's a barrier. It could even be this businessman or this king of wands taking a moment to reflect about what happened uh, actually this king of wands could be reflecting about what this king of pentacles did so there could have been a wealthy you know businessman or something like that or someone who owns a business that was trying to like take you to court or something and someone's reflecting about something regarding this situation because there was a four of swords situation where it's like you haven't been able to rest relax it's like you haven't been able to get your life in order Every time you try to do something good for yourself or positive for yourself, somebody comes and, like, tries to knock you down. And you're speaking some sort of truth. So we have the Two of Swords and the Page of Swords. So there's a message of truth and a decision that needs to be made. So someone's at a crossroads. Um, there's a King of Wands here that's in, at the crossroads when it comes to a King of Pentacles and what to do. Because you're speaking the truth about something or they're getting a message of truth. This person may not have realized that you were telling the truth. So if you've been, like, say this is a court proceeding. <clears throat> say, <clears throat> say you're getting sued for something, right? And you went to court, you told the truth about all the shady shit that somebody has done to you. They put you through um, all the crazy things. And maybe this person didn't believe you, okay? Um, and then life goes on. And then, um, you know, a lot of crazy shit has happened to you in between that time and what's going on in your life currently and none of it has been good it's like every time you try to build yourself up someone's trying to knock your ass back down and you're going to speak the truth someone's realizing that you're speaking the truth about something you could have some sort of evidence or whatever um you have something to back up what you're saying okay and that's what has this king of wands in despair because this person is getting slapped with the bitter truth and it is bitter. It is really bitter about what a married couple have, has done to somebody. There's an Knight of Wands. There's some communication coming in. Communication information regarding the truth and a decision being made. Or someone being at a crossroads. Possibly not being able to decide about something. I mean, this person is tore up. They could be having nightmares. Um, they could know about what's going on. Um, of course, it would be... I'm guessing illegal for them to admit this, but if you live in a small town where everybody knows everybody, this king of wands probably knows what's going on before you even get in front of this person. They could already be in despair about what's going on before you even step foot in front of them over what has been done to you by, you know, this group of people here in the community. Can I see a Beetlejuice card in here? Yeah, I do. Okay, so someone was scared. Someone was shocked and scared. So somebody was shocked and scared. Or there's a karmic that's going to be. And there's something that somebody didn't want to see clearly or that a group is having difficulty seeing about somebody that you were in a relationship with. It's like they wanted to stay blind to the truth. They didn't want to see it. Uh, but something's being exposed and they can't hide it anymore because there's facts. There could be medical documents, something like that. Maybe you went to doctor's visits. Um, there's, there's some sort of documentation here regarding a group and somebody that can want to partner up with you or that is connected to this group or wants to partner up with you. And this could be an official person. This could be like that King of Wands energy. There's 
a masculine energy here. So there's a masculine energy here in the upright, that King of Wands energy in the upright that wants to do something, possibly partner up with somebody, uh, possibly a divine femme. There's a group of people here that are abandoning ship, jumping ship, uh, flying out of here. They thought something was funny. They didn't think anyone would see through the illusions, and they got scared because they realized that people are starting to see through the illusions that something was fake. You had more than one person doing this. You see this shit? You got two of these motherfuckers hiding behind a fence, like throwing rocks, hiding hands, and they think this shit's funny. You had multiple people doing this to you. To leave you out in the cold because they couldn't seduce you because they're stuck from coming towards you so they put barriers in your path and this leader is seeing this they're finding out that you were being watched someone's trying to make a deal about a feminine energy or about a feminine energy so someone's getting burnt by a deal that they made regarding a feminine so this could be regarding a divine feminine that somebody made a deal with somebody else to burn you to make you homeless to do all this shit to you and um the king of pentacles could be in on this and a married couple could be in on this as well oh okay so there's a lot of cards that are not supposed to be in this deck they got mixed up so my labyrinth cards aren't supposed to be in here either I must have packed them up in a hurry. I must have put them away the last time in a hurry. Because I have three more cards here. Oh. So somebody wants to partner up with you here. I'm going to try to keep these separate this time. Yeah, somebody thought it was showtime. So there's a karmic here that thought it was showtime. Something was ready to go. They were going to benefit. Uh, but someone's about to be shocked. They're, this shock, this surprise. Something really shocking is about to happen someone's not going to see this coming like there's something really crazy about to go down i'm just really getting it it's like energetically i'm feeling it there's a huge energy shift that has happened and since those cards keep coming out we'll just go ahead and pull my labyrinth and beetlejuice cards out So someone is acting like they want to help you, but it's a misdirection. So someone is trying to help you, but only to lead you down the wrong path. Yeah, and here we have these shady ass people. So we have Beetlejuice, who's nasty, dark, skeezy. And we have a pissed off masculine energy here. Somebody who was throwing curveballs at you. So you have a pissed off masculine that had another person come towards you to misdirect you, lead you down the wrong path. And one or both of these people are dark and sadistic. And they could have worked with somebody who portrayed themselves to be a feminine or an empress, but this is in the reverse. So this person is not innocent. They're, there's a very dark feminine energy here as well. So there's two masculine energies that are very dark and then there's a feminine energy that's in the dark as well and this feminine energy acts like they're helping somebody out but they were pretending to help you out to burn you and steal something from you or cause you some sort of harm or put some sort of obstacles in your way oh my god does this shit ever end i mean really It would help if the cards weren't sliding all over the place. These are my slick decks, so these are really slick. So, someone needs to stop wasting time. They're obsessed, and they need to let something go. Something significant could be happening, happening in the next two to four weeks. Someone will be passing soon. That came out sideways. Um, they need to heal their childhood wounds. 
and they need to speak the truth. So someone needs to speak the truth before they pass away that they didn't heal their childhood wounds. And they wanted to hurt somebody because of it. I mean, deathbed confessions can be good for the soul, I guess, but you should actually, you need to, you need mm, I don't know if it'll make a difference after what somebody has done to this divine femme energy, <coughs> possibly masculine, but, um, somebody needs to ask somebody for forgiveness and confess what the fuck they've done. <coughs> because this person didn't want to act their age, they were acting very childish. And they were doing this to stress somebody out and keep them upset, flustered, frustrated. This person tried to hack your accounts. They may not have been able to, but they tried. They may have been successful. Somebody may have. There were crooked judges involved in something. They need to get their shit together. So there were some crooked judges who may have tried to hack your accounts as well. Someone's not divine. Someone is pure evil. And they were connected. There's a betrayal here regarding some sort of mail or message, be a carrier. So there's a betrayal here regarding to some mail and someone's going to claim it was a misunderstanding. They didn't change. They're still the same. They're, it's the same shit doing different. It's the same shit different day. It really is. Somebody tried this shit with you before where they either didn't send you mail they took it off your door, or they took it out of your mailbox, you didn't get a notification, you didn't get notified about something, and they're doing the same tricks. If they sent, like, if you had a court appearance, something like that, they're sending it to the wrong address on purpose, people are doing some shady ass shit. Have patience, something is going to work out in your favor here. So you may be patient, you may have been patiently waiting for something, um, maybe for the time to run out on something, because something has just been done over and over and over again, to the point that it's ridiculous. And somebody can't sit still, somebody can't be still, someone's very restless. Um, Aquarius energy could be significant. Balance, Libra. So maybe you've been patiently waiting for balance to be restored for you because you've been taken advantage of, run through the ringer. Something something was really, really dirty about what these three did to you. And it seems to always be three. And someone even commented that in the section. It's like, there's always three. And it's like, yeah, you know, there, yeah. You're going to be at peace. There's peace coming towards you when balance is restored. <clears throat> I'm hearing no justice, no peace. Um, you know, energy came out sideways, so you may know how to handle energy, deal with energy. This could be shocking to somebody. Somebody is going, this King of Wands energy that I'm picking up on could actually be very shocked about your energy and how you're able to survive, how you're persevering. Like, people may not even believe the shit that you've gone through because no one would survive this. Like, everything that has been done to you, the betrayal, the betrayal, like, over and over and over again. Someone, it's like, they can't believe it. It's like, you're standing in front of me and this is impossible. How are you here? How are you alive? And if this is, like, if there's crooked judges involved in this, right? And they're connected to this trio here. And they were intending to give you a bad judgment yet once again. Once you go stand in front of that judge, it's like their jaw, like, I mean, I'm seeing a jaw drop. Like, someone can't even believe that, first of all, that you're showing up, that you got the mail because somebody purposefully sent something to the wrong address or did something shady with that. So, someone is going to be surprised that you even show up. Second of all, that you're calm, collected, that you have control of yourself. And another reason is, is it's like seeing a ghost. When you walk into there... Like, I'm just using this as an example because that's what the setting I'm seeing in my head with this court. Like, someone's going to be shocked to see you because you're not supposed to be alive and they know it. Because they know what was supposed to have happened to you. Hence all these bad judgments that came out against you. Possibly even for years. And maybe you couldn't figure out why, how, because it, it just didn't make any sense. 
And you know, I did see, you know, I've, I've been bringing up TikTok, because I've been off of that for a long time. <clears throat> I didn't even set up my account. My daughter set that up for me. Um, because, you know, I struggle with technology from time to time with what has happened to me, but, you know, people didn't defend you. You know, this could be Scorpio energy. Um, somebody didn't defend you. They didn't want you to be able to defend yourself. But, you know, when, when judges make a ruling or something, you have so many days. I thought this is something that they were supposed to do automatically. Like, um, it's like an explanation of how they came up to their judgment. And they're supposed to give you legitimate reasons. And if they can't give legit, solid reasons, you have the opportunity to appeal that. So keep that in mind. I saw it on TikTok. I wish I, I may have saved it on my bookmark because I was like, oh, that's good to know. That's interesting. Because every time, you know, if you go to court and you just get a judgment, the judge can put whatever the hell they want in there and they don't have to explain the reasoning. But you can request, and it's going to piss the judge off, but you know what, so the fuck what? If they're giving you bad judgments, they need to explain why the fuck they're giving you a bad judgment. But if you have court case c coming up or something, look into that. Um, it's like, um, and I, I can't remember exactly what it's called, and I just saw it like this past week, I can't remember. Um, but there's look into it a judge has to explain but you have to request it like that's not mandatory like they don't automatically have to do that but you have so many days i think it's like up to 10 days or something after a judge en enters a judgment or something against you you can request that they have to explain how they reach that judgment and if they can't come up with good reasons and there's a lot of shady shit going on you can appeal and they can get in some big ass trouble okay so it's gonna piss them off because they have to explain their shit, but you had to stand in front of them and explain your shit. So you know what? Isn't it only fair? Especially if they're railroading you, you know? So You're a mystery. You're not supposed to be there. I'm hearing you're not supposed to be here. You weren't supposed to show up. You're not supposed to even be alive. I'm seriously getting that. <clears throat> and there was some... I mean, they didn't think you had the determination in you. Their Pisces could be significant. They could have done this to a Pisces. This could have been done to a Pisces or by a Pisces. Um, water sign here. Um, they didn't think you had the determination. They didn't think that you would show. What, they thought they, you would just sit back and allow them to, like, come arrest you and shit? No. God's not going to put up with that shit. The Divine's not putting up with that shit. No one's just going to sit back and let shit go anymore. You know, time is up for this shit, motherfuckers shit or get off the pot fix this shit or you don't deserve to be in your position and starting now you're gonna fucking start explaining why right collective if you have court cases coming up if they give you a shitty judgment you make them explain how they reach that and then you appeal that shit make them accountable for their bullshit somebody is just trying to control you they are keeping you under their thumb they're controlling you and they're trying to just it's that puppeteer shit. Friday could be significant. Someone's going from rags to riches. Something is too tough. A tough road to hoe. You're too tough. They can't fucking kill you. How many times I gotta say it? They can't kill you. You have the wisdom of the ages and someone was just being a stubborn piece of shit. Something wasn't written in stone. There's something significant about somebody that you loved and lost. And this doesn't have to be in a relationship. You could have lost your kids, you know, um, friends, family, relatives. You could have lost a lot of people along the way because of what was done to you. All because they wanted to believe lies. Cancer could be significant. And Aquarius came out again, so Aquarius. There could be something significant about fall between an Aquarius and a Cancer. Man of few words. So somebody didn't want to say a whole lot or didn't have much to say.
But now they've seen the light. They see that you're as pure as driven snow regarding this group of bullshit, a fine kettle of fish. So there's a group of people here that are seeing that you're innocent and you've always been innocent. And they don't have a choice but to see the truth. They didn't want to see the truth about this group, but they have no choice. All right, person, place would think to be significant. V. You. And I'm once again, I'm hearing Vicky Valancourt. So, <laughs> uh, water boy could be significant. Water could be significant. You could be a water sign. See. You. T. T. So T T could be significant. Someone's nickname could be T T. Someone's name could be T A. I. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> T-I-T. <laughs> Awkward. H. Tithe. Someone could be religious. T-I-T-H. Tithing could be significant. O. I'm hearing donations are being compared to as tithes. Tithing. Like religion. B. And T. So we have triple T. So T is very significant here. So we have three T's, two U's, V, C, I, H, and B, O. I hope this helps. Have a good day.